You know what the NAL did today? You know what they did today? You know what they announced today? They announced that there will be a West Coast-based team, and not just any West Coast-based team. Y'all remember the Ontario Bandits? Y'all remember that video I had about a few weeks ago or a month ago or whatever? Yeah, they were speculated to be in the IFL. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't know what. But this is completely out of nowhere. And this just does not work at all. This is going to be another failure on the part of the NAL. I don't think... I'm just saying it right now. This is going to be a failure. If, if the league has to retract this team in like two weeks or something again like they did with Baltimore, I'm just about done with this nonsense, man. Like, it made sense. It made complete and total sense for the IFL to pick up Louisville and Massachusetts because they got burned by the NAL because the NAL tries way too hard you know, to to try and be this top level league when they know they are not. And the fans, you think you think the NAL, you think the NAL management is bad. The fans are stupid too. Like, like I, I admit I'm more of an IFL guy than an NAL guy because I mean it was just the the, the way the 2019 season looked. You know. It was it was rough. It was rough to watch the NAL in action in 2019, and we didn't get to see them in 2020, you know, at all. But this this does not make any sort of sense whatsoever. It is stupid. It is dumb. I don't get it. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know, man. Because I mean, it just it it just doesn't make any sort of sense whatsoever to expand all the way out to Ontario. It would make sense this with the IFL because they are on the West Coast. They have a West Coast establishment now, but here NAL, stay on the East Coast. You have six teams. You have a solid foundation with the six teams you have, you know, because I'm pretty sure Albany fans are, are going to, you know, like the fact that the Empire are back. They, they they like the fact that the Empire are back. Jacksonville still draws, you know, like ten, like seven to ten K people a game. Carolina draws like three thousand people a game. Columbus draws like maybe like two, three thousand a game too. And um, Orlando is just Orlando. And I don't know about Jersey, but, but Orlando is getting better with a new ownership group. And Jersey has a new ownership group, too. So what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this shit going out west? This is going to be another failed expansion attempt. I know it. I know it. Because they tried with New York streets last year. And that failed. They couldn't get Maine back. You know, and they were supposed to get Maine back, but they never got any owners. You know, they should have, they should have just gotten Rob Storm to do it, but he was like, nah, I don't feel like doing that. I got enough on my plate already. And then, you know, 2017, there was Ohio, you know, um, you know the Dayton Wolfpack. I think there was the uh, the Monterey or Steel or something like that. That really shouldn't have been in the league, you know. Because I mean, just they, like I was looking at back at some old Monterey Steel broadcasts, and they looked absolutely dreadful. Like games are getting cut out at, like halftime, you know, and stuff like that. So I mean, I, I, just, I just don't know. I just don't know. There's, and then there's Corpus Christi, you know, there was supposed to be a team in Corpus Christi, Texas, or something like that. And I think they were gone, you know, after a season, maybe half a season. And then there was the Grizzlies of High County, I think. I think that's what they were called. They went, they had went back down to AL and then they disappeared from the face of the earth, I think. So I don't I don't get it. What the fuck is this? What is this?
this is this is going to fail, isn't it? I just, I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. <laughs>